So today's video is a part of a series that I've been trying to develop on my channel about products that are under $10 that are at the drugstore that are fantastic products. But I try to show you 10 different brands so you can kind of get a feel for each different brand and be able to see what is good from that brand and be able to pick up something that's really affordable. And I'm saying this in all of my videos as this period of time is going on when everything is so uncertain in the world is that please don't think that you have to go out and buy these products and I'm not buying these products either. These are products that I have had for a while but I just think they're fantastic products. Maybe you have some, maybe you do wanna pick up some, that's up to you but I'm not promoting that we all need to go out and buy the latest and greatest in makeup because these are products that have been around for a while. So I want to get going on this video, 10 products under $10 from 10 brands. Okay, I'm gonna start out with something that I bet that every single one of you have in your makeup right now. And that is the Color Icon Eyeshadows from Wet n Wild. These 10 pan palettes right here, these are, I believe they're about $6. They might've gone up a little bit other places. But most places you can get them for about $6. Now, I have four right here. These three were the ones that were put out during Halloween, so I'm really not going to show you those. But I do have one that is one that I have from their line that's been here forever, and this is the Cosmic Collision. Now, I am wearing Cosmic Collision as my eyeshadow today, and I'll just show you that I used this color right here as a transition color very, very lightly, and then I used this one and I buffed it out as my crease color and the outer V color right over here. And then on my eyelid, I'm using this color right here, which is a beautiful duochrome of lavender and silver on my eyelid. It's a little bit deeper, but I did deepen up the outer V a little bit also with this kind of sparkly, well, when it gets on your finger, it's not really sparkly. See how dark it looks right there. So anyway, I love these. Any and of those that you pick up that you're drawn to, I would say they're just really, really good shadows that blend out. Quality is really good on these. And you know, when you think about buying one single shadow from a lot of those higher up brands, you can go anywhere from like $5 on up to like $12 for one little pan. So you're getting 10 for that price of that one little pan, which I think is fantastic. Okay, my number two product is one that I discovered very recently and I kind of fell in love with, and that is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and this is a satin finish. You guys, I just love this product right now. I love how hydrating it feels. I love that it covers very well. Um, I don't really feel like I have to set this down. You know, there, there might be, if I am getting a lot of my menopause hot flashes, I'm might see a little bit of creasing that I have to tap out during the day, but at my age, that's something that I'm dealing with. So I have mine in light peach and I really do like it. I found that the original one, just the regular camel concealer, was so, so drying on me. It was like tart shape tape. It was meant to be a dupe for that but it was super drying and I just couldn't do it. But this hydrating one, I've been really enjoying a lot lately and been using almost every day to test it out for several weeks and love it actually. I didn't wear it today, but I've been loving it very much. The next one is one that I love this. This is the Milani Keep It Full Plumping Lip Gloss. This one is sparkling pink. I barely read that without my glasses. This is such a pretty pink. And you guys, it just comes across as really light you can put it pair it with any lip liner and it's just such a pretty one has a really really faint coconut minty smell um i do like the smell of it if you're bothered by fragrance you might not like this very much but for me it doesn't bother me love the color of the pink one too these aren't as intense as the buxom are so when you like breathe in or you feel that cooling sensation these aren't as intense as that but they do have still that really pretty plumping property of a gloss and i love a good gloss and these are really good number four is from la girl and this is their pore coverage high definition long wearing long wearing illuminating foundation and this is in the white okay you guys first of all i do like this foundation just period. I like how long wearing it is. I like that it doesn't dry me out. I like everything about it. But what I really like about having this white one is so many times I will get a foundation home and I'll have to color correct it. Meaning I'll have to put in a little bit of mixing medium because I'm very cool and I'll have to put in a little bit of cool 
uh, blue in there to kind of make that orange, you know, calm down. But then it'll get a little bit dark because my complexion is very fair. So I go ahead and I put this in and it lightens it up. So if you're having trouble finding a light enough one, a light enough foundation, this might be really good for you. They do have this in the matte formula too, but I like this one because it does give that dewy finish and it just looks so good with any dewy foundation or luminous foundation. If it says matte on it, it can still mix in with that one, but I love it with the luminous ones because it just kind of pairs with them so pretty. And it doesn't really change the consistency of them. It doesn't change any wear time or anything of them. And I really, really like that about this one. I found this really recently, probably a month and a half ago, maybe six, eight weeks ago, somewhere in there. This is the Garnier Fructis Invisible Dry Shampoo. And this is the Refresh and Volumize Coco Colada. That the Coca Colada, I could have picked up any of them. I just happen to like coconut fragrance. But this has absolutely no residue. So, you know, sometimes you'll spray those on there and it almost looks like you've got powder in your hair, especially if you've got dark hair. When my roots start growing out and my dark roots start showing through, if I use an, a shampoo, a dry shampoo that is got some, a property like that where it looks really powdery, it's going to make me look gray down there. And this one has none, none of that whatsoever. And it absorbs so quickly into your scalp and it absorbs those oils so quickly. And they use rice starch in here as the dry shampoo part of it that can soak up the oils. And there is no, let's see, there's no sil silicones in this either, which I think is really good because silicones can actually, you know, almost attract dirt at times too. So I've been loving that one. Um, give it a try if you've been wanting a good drugstore dry shampoo. As far as a actual foundation that I'm in love with that's under $10, it would have to be the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour foundation. I think this is fantastic. Mine is in from normal to dry skin. Obviously I always talk about how dry my skin is, but they do have a normal to oily formula as well that keeps you a bit more matte. And when it says 24 hours, if any of you are wearing your makeup for 24 hours, I'm gonna come and give you a slap because you shouldn't be wearing your makeup for 24 hours. Wash your face at night. It doesn't stay on for 24 hours. Even if you don't wash your face at night, it doesn't stay on that long. But it is super long wearing and it just looks so pretty on the skin. I am wearing it as my foundation today. It does so well and with any texture I have as I'm aging. It doesn't seem to settle into fine lines. It doesn't get a lot of breakthrough through the day. And it is there at the end of the day when I do look at my face. And, and this one happens to be my perfect color. I mean my perfect, perfect color. I don't have to color correct this, lighten it, darken it, nothing. This is 150 in buff and it doesn't have an SPF of 20. I don't rely on SPFs in foundation to um, do my sun protection. I always wear more, but it is an added bonus on that. And if you needed to touch up through the day, it might give you a little bit more protection through the day. So love this stuff, would highly recommend it. And you guys are actually the ones that recommended this to me. So thank you so very much for that. And I also want to recommend from The Ordinary, the Rosehip Seed Oil. I did just put this in a skincare video that I was doing. And the reason that I'm recommending this is because I absolutely love Rosehip Seed Oil. It just is an oil that sinks in so well. If you wanna put a couple drops into your moisturizer, it does have those antioxidant properties to it. And it never makes me feel like I'm oily when I use it. So I really like it. It is one that has been touted for a long, long time to have all kinds of anti-aging aging properties to it. So I definitely wanted to share that one with you. It is under $10 as well. I think I'm on number eight. I kind of got off track of where I was going there, but I think I'm on number eight. And that is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is a clear eyebrow gel. And I wish that the wand was a little bit smaller, but you guys, if you have problems with your eyebrows, you know, not staying, and by the end of the day, you feel like your whatever you've done with a gel or a pomade or a pencil has rubbed off, this is gonna help you to keep it on. And it is so good that they're just going to stay in place all day long. However, you know, however you groom them, that's what they're gonna look like at the end of the day. And really have been enjoying this one very much. So NYX Control Free for nine is the Rimmel Maxi Blush. This is their powder blush. This one is in third base. 
I love these blushes, you guys. This is a humongous pan of blush anyway, but they're blushes that are really pretty and really saturated. I changed fingers because I had eyeshadow on that one, sorry. Um, I like how this blends out. It is the blush that I have on today. And I just really love the color of this particular one, third base. You can build these colors up to where they can be what is in the pan. If you have a deeper skin tone than I do, but you can also soften them out and they can look so pretty on your skin. They have several colors at Walmart and I just think that each of those colors are so pretty. It's a blush that I feel like has a bit of a luminosity to it. Not, I should say it's just satin. It's not luminous, it's not glowy, but it's not matte. So for me, it just looks really satiny and really pretty on the skin. So really have been liking that one. And I find that it sticks around a long time too. That this one has a medium wear time, I should say. It's not like the longest wearing blush I've ever seen, but it's really good as far as the pretty colors and the blendability. And most of the time I can tell that I still have blush on by the end of the day. Number 10 is the last one I'm going to share with you and I actually have three of them and why do I have three of them because I'm crazy that way and I love highlighters so these are the Maybelline Master Chrome this comes in many different colors I actually picked up this one at a while ago this one is in this is one of their holographic ones in 100 this is not necessarily one that I would go around wearing on my cheeks all the time but boy do you guys putting that one right there on your eyelids is just so pretty it's like this duochrome gorgeousness and I like it a lot to go on the eyelids it just has a really iridescent quality but these other two right here um, this one is in rose gold. This one right here is rose gold and you can see it right there It is the one that I have on today as my highlight across my cheeks And then the other one is number 250 and it does have a name now They didn't have it named back then and I'll just show you really quickly how gorgeous they are. They're just some Absolutely gorgeous highlighters. They and also feel really really nice on the skin you guys They're a little bit more on the powdery side than the creamy side but once you blend them into your skin Skin just a little bit they almost take on a creamy like texture where they kind of hug your skin and these aren't ones that I would use like to buff all over my face because as a mature woman I do have a little bit more texture on my face but boy just on the top of those cheekbones to make those cheekbones really pop I just love it and I did use it a little bit down on my decollete too today to just give it a little bit of glow and that was the um, rose gold one that I was using down there and they have a molten gold and i think they have one other one as well so really love these you guys if you get the chance to get your hands on them i think they're just really gorgeous and that is number 10. thank you guys so much for tuning in if you do like seeing 10 products under 10 dollars from the drugstore please give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate that it helps me out so very much when you do that i want to just say again you guys I'm here on camera and I always try to come across as being very positive and very upbeat for you guys. I am as worried as you guys are, I really am. But I have to have distractions and this is my distraction, is to be able to interact with you guys and to be able to share my love of makeup, skincare and beauty with you guys. And then maybe we can all be distracted a little bit together and we can kind of, you know, learn different things from each other. I am thinking about you all. I am praying for everybody that is affected by this and I hope that everyone is trying to stay as healthy as possible stay home, stay isolated as much as you can, and try not to go too stir crazy in the process of all this. Everyone, thank you so much for watching and love you very much and catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.